Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're back on my coffee table because we are doing some more clay stuff, but this time it's oven baked Sculpey clay. Um, basically, I've just seen a lot of the clay jewelry that's been on like Pinterest and Instagram, um, and it looks so fun and cute, so I thought why not make some myself. Um, it looks pretty straightforward. They're pretty like handmade esque um so yeah i just bought a bunch of colors of sculpey and i'm going to make some rings and then i thought i could also make some beads to make jewelry out of um because i bought some elastic cord as well um and then i also have these gems um from a while ago so i thought why not try and use those um even though i don't think i can put these in the oven so i might have to add them afterwards um, but yeah, I pretty much just found random supplies. I got some pins to make holes um, in my beads with, and then I just have some. These are tools from my bookmaking class. I don't know how I'm gonna use these, but I thought maybe they'll come in handy. And then I just have a ruler and some scissors. And I also got some card because I was thinking for the rings, it would be easier if I made like a little. Um, well, this doesn't actually roll that well, so I don't know, but um, oh, this way maybe. I can make a little, like, use a ring that I already have to make a little um, tube so that I can easily just shape the rings around the tube because I saw someone else doing that. Um, so, yeah, that's all I have. Um, and I guess we're just going to try and make some rings. it works because if it doesn't all my rings are gonna be the wrong size um, this ring is kind of big on me so I mean even if it's a little bit smaller than this it will be fine um, but yeah I just saw someone using like one of these um, like a something that looked like this but I think it was like a professional ring shaping thing um, which I obviously don't have so I'm just gonna try and make this work um but i've got all my clay unwrapped and i think i'm just gonna go for it i should keep my phone i think i also might paint some of these i got white because i saw um a count print one which i thought was really cute so i might do that and then paint it super chunky huh I guess that is kind of the point I think I'm gonna do another one like that style but maybe make it a little bit less chunky should I score the middle so it definitely like, sticks together that's gonna kind of ruin it I'm just gonna try and like smooth it together a little bit damn how am I gonna slide this off Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna make one more. I'm gonna do the purple. Um, but I'm gonna make it way thinner and a little bit more dainty. second ring it's purple it was the same exact thing that I did with the pink one I just rolled this out a bit thinner um, so there's more little curves in it I actually think these are gonna come out so cute is it just me Can you see that is it just me or does that look kind of adorable um, okay let's try a different style of ring let's 
take some orange and I'm gonna do the one that's kind of um, bigger, chunky at the top and then thinner at the bottom. Um, not entirely sure how I wanna do that. when I put it into the oven. I have no idea like if it will stick together or not. Um, I really hope it will. But we're gonna put it on the tray anyways. That's my third ring. Um, hopefully it comes out okay. I don't know about that one. Maybe I can make beads out of these ones. And, um, and then fold the end off. I kind of like that though. Um, let me just make sure it's stuck together. I didn't mean to make a design, but it's kind of big, so I'm just pinching it um, and making a little bit of a wavy pattern. We'll see if that works. Um, that looks kind of cool. Oof. Should I just make a cut and then join it together again? I kind of need some white ones because I definitely want to paint one um, like cow print. And then I also kind of want to do one with like a little pink gem in it. Um, so let's do that. Okay, this is just my super basic white one that I'm going to do um, cow print on, I think. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna leave a hole and then we can come back and maybe um, super glue it in. But doesn't that look cute with the little pink gem? I feel like these are gonna come out so cute. Um, I'm excited to bake these. If you watched my last clay video that I did with the... Oh shit, it's stuck. <laughs> um, if you watched my last clay video that I did with the um, air dry clay, I've had that um, spray, the gloss spray. I think I'm gonna use that on these rings too. I feel like it'll just make them look a bit cuter. And I feel like a lot of the rings that I saw on like Instagram and Pinterest were like glossy or glazed or something. So yeah, I'm also gonna finish it with that spray, I think. Um, I wanna make a bead where it's like green on the outside and then orange on the inside. Um, if that makes sense, I think that would look cute. And I'm just going to use my ruler to cut them up. See, maybe I'll flatten that out.
my tray with all my rings and my beads and stuff. I don't think I can mentally make any more right now. I still have a ton of clay left, but um, that's for another day, I guess. I am going to go put these in the oven, and then I think I'm just going to spray them and paint some of them, and then come back and show you because um, the spraying is literally just spraying um and the paint i'm not gonna do anything crazy i'm not even gonna paint most of them um just a couple of them i want to do like maybe some like splotches of like i might do like towel print on this one and then do like little like polka dots maybe in one of them um but yeah i'm gonna come back and show you guys the finished result after i bake them and do all that stuff Guys, here are all my finished rings, and I finished the necklace, and the, uh, I made a bracelet too out of the beads. Um, this is after I sprayed all of them with that gloss spray. Um, but yeah, I think they came out really cute. Some of them are kind of small. Um, I think it's the ones that I tried shaping after I took them off the little mold. Um, and that ring that I used to make the mold with was kind of big anyways. So I would definitely recommend making your little tube slightly bigger or maybe make it like the exact size of your ring instead of like shaping it to the inside of the ring if that makes sense um but some of them do fit fine these squiggly ones uh the purple one that i made that looked like this the thinner one that broke some of the thinner ones that i made a bit too dainty they did break just because i guess the clay is kind of brittle after it bakes um but otherwise they look really cute. I'm really happy with them. I definitely recommend spraying the gloss on it. I just think it look, makes them look a bit more finished. Um, I only painted some of them. Maybe like two. I painted this one in like a cow print. Um, this is one of my favorites. I love that. And then I also painted this one. Um, I just put some polka dots on it. Um, but yeah, otherwise I just sprayed most of them. Um, and they came out really cute. Like I'm genuinely in love with them. I think they're so cute. I also put um, gems on two of them. So this is one of them with the gem, which is super cute. And then I also did a pink one with a gem. Also very cute. Um, but yeah, I think they came out super cute. Highly recommend trying this out if you wanna make some cute rings for yourself. Well guys, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, send me pictures if you try it. I actually had quite a lot of fun making them. I did get kind of bored at the end and started making crazy ones. Um, and the beads are a bit annoying to poke holes in, but otherwise it was pretty fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!